smart are you? 99% felt this. Okay, let me just be fair. 70% felt this because they overlook something on this question. This is an IQ test and you are welcome back to my channel. So we are asked to find 8 plus 11 if 1 plus 4 equals 5, 2 plus 5 equals 12, and 3 plus 6 equals 21. Now some people will do it this way. So we say 1 plus 4 is equal to 5. Now 2 plus 5 is 7. And 7 plus this 5 is 12, which is correct. Um, 3 plus 6 is 9. 9 plus 12 is 21. Wow, that's also correct. Then they will say 8 plus 11 is 19. And 19 plus 21 is 40. If that is your answer, then you are wrong. Yes. Now, like I said, we will solve this using two methods. Whenever you have a, a, an IQ question like this, the best and the most efficient approach to avoid mistakes is to establish a formula because there must be a formula that is used to get all these things. They must have a sequence. They must have a pattern. So once you're able to establish that pattern and you use that pattern to form a formula, you are actually going to get your answer. Definitely. Now, this person established a pattern, but something went wrong somewhere, which I will highlight later. Please hit the subscription button, turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss our videos. We upload our videos as often as possible. Tune in at your convenience. There must be something new for you to watch by the special grace of God. <laughs> yes, I know some of you will be like, why do I put that? I put that because if you're a content creator, you know that showing up here every day, consistency is not easy. It's only by His grace that you're always you're pushing out, giving you content back to back. Okay? All right. So, let's go to what we have on the board. Like I said, if your answer is 40, you are wrong. Now, let us look at it. Let's establish a formula. Whew. If I say 1 plus 4 is 5, that means I do not form anything here. But if I say 1 times 4 is 4, and 4 plus 1 is 5, okay? If I say 2 times 5 is 10, and 10 plus 2 is 12, wow. 3 times 6 is 18, and 18 plus 3 is 21, wow. That's the formula. So the formula simply means A plus B is equal to A multiplied by B plus A. That should be the formula, right? So, if we should apply that formula here, then it's going to be easy. Let's go straight and get the value. And then remember, I have another method, okay, that we can use to get this. So, stay put and see that second method. Because that second method is tricky, but it will also give you the same result. All right. So, we have 8 plus 11. We have 8 plus 11 is equal to what? Our A is equal to 8. Our B is equal to 11. Okay? So if we should apply this formula, 8 plus 11 will be equal to 8 times B, that is 8 times 11, plus A, that is plus 8. So we solve 8 times 11 is 8, 8 plus 8. 8 plus 8 is 16, right? 6 carry 1, add it here, you have 96. And this is the correct answer. So if you got this, thumbs up, you did well. Now, can we go back and get that second method? It's very important. Now, why did the first person fail it? The first person failed it, not because he or she did not establish the pattern. 
the pattern she established is also correct but she forgot that since she's not using a formula to solve this if she should establish the pattern the pattern should be in sequence it shouldn't break the chain shouldn't break anywhere so she forgot that we have three plus six here eh? and we skipped four plus five plus six plus seven plus and we got eight plus so if we should use that pattern then we should consider all of those words skipped before we get to the final answer now this is what i meant so let's start with three plus six we have three plus six so the next one should be four plus seven Whew. I've shot a lot of video today, so I'm kind of tired, but I must finish this one. So we have 5 plus 8. We have 6 plus 9. We have 7 plus 10. Before we get to 8 plus 11. So we are going to consider all these steps before we get to our final answer. So we have 3 plus 6. We have given, they gave us that as 21. So let us make use of her method or his method. 4 plus 7 is 11. So we are going to add 11 to 21. And that will give us 32. So we have 32 here. Also, 5 plus 8 will give us 13. So we are going to add 13 to 32. 45 so it means that this is 45 now 6 plus 9 is 15 we add 15 to 45 and that will give us 60 7 plus 10 is 17 if we add 60 to 17 we'll have 77 now 8 plus 11 is 19 if we add 19 to 77 you will see that we'll get 96 which is what we got using the formula this is the second iq question this is the second iq question now this question says two fathers and two sons went fishing they caught three fish and each person got one how when I saw this question, don't mind me. This is exactly how I laughed at myself because I was like, it's either I am crazy or the person that said this question is crazy. But that question is there, meaning that the person that said the question is actually sure of what he or she wrote. Hmm. So that is why I decided, that is when I decided to take a second look at this question and tried to read meaning into that so i said two fathers and two sons that means we're supposed to have four persons but since they caught only three fish each of them got one that means there are actually three persons here and not four persons now does that make sense yes it does now let's see it this way the first father is the grandfather. So we are going to have the grandfather. And we have the father. And we have the son. Now let me explain. Let's say grandfather is the father of this man. Let's call this man John. Okay. And this son here is the son of John. All right. Now let me explain. If we have grandfather, grandfather is a father. Grandfather is a father. That is the first father. And father to this particular person, let's call this person Jim, is also a father, making them two fathers. Now in terms of son, John is the son of he, this man here. And for the fact that John is the son of this man, that is the first son we saw here. And we have the second son who happens to be the son of John. That is the second son. So that way we have two fathers on ground and two sons. But in that case, they are just three persons. Because John 
is a father as well as a son so we have three persons so that is it were you able to crack this if you were let me know in the comments thank you for watching and see you in my next video